students this is the continuation of the large signal amplifiers in which we studied what do we mean by large scale amplifier large signal amplifier and what is class b amplifier and what is the disadvantage of class b amplifier this is the disadvantage and we have seen the crossover distortion is the disadvantage of class b amplifier in the previous class that is previous video and i have already told you this can be overcome in class a b amplifier so now we will see how it can be overcome in class a b amplifier so first the reason for getting this the reason for getting this gap that is why this signal is not identical with the input signal in the amplified form is we are getting this part when one transistor is on and we are getting this part as another transistor is on this is due to q1 and this is q, this is due to q2 which is very clear in the previous video this is on okay when this becomes on when this becomes off this transistor that is transistor q2 has to be on but it takes some time to become on once it goes off means until and unless the voltage vbe that is voltage between base to emitter of a transistor is greater than or equal to 0.7 volts the transistor cannot be on transistor cannot conduct this we have seen in the basic study of transistor right what is that we call this one as a cut in voltage until and unless the voltage applied to the base of a transistor is greater than or equal to vbe that is 0.7 volts transistor is going to be cut off it is not going to conduct so this is on this has to become on this takes time to become on once it goes off because of that reason we will be getting this gap that is crossover distortion how it is eliminated in class ab amplifier is you can see the circuit diagram only the difference in the circuit diagram of class ab amplifier and class b amplifier is you can see again q1 q2 we have used t1 t2 input and output transformers we have used and here is two diodes d1 and d2 along with bypass capacitors c1 and c2 we have used so this is the important part in the class ab amplifier we have made used of use of two diodes d1 and d2 in order to overcome the crossover distortion that is how means when we have seen this is the input signal applied this t1 it is going to divide this input signal into two half parts providing positive half cycle to this providing negative half cycles to this so this q1 is going to amplify the positive half cycle and it is going to produce the output here so now because of this output in the collector this diode you can see this diode d2 it will be forward biased because of the amplified output voltage here when this is on now this has to be off and this has to be on so in this period this is going on and this is becoming this is going off and this is going on during that short span of period slightly the collector voltage is applied to the base of a transistor q2 due to d2 and this is going to keep this q2 in conduction that means what before actually the input signal is applied here <coughs> some voltage will be applied at the base of a transistor q2 because of due to which is going to run or drive this q2 transistor into conduction what is this d2 is doing before the application of the actual base voltage here that is negative half cycle of this input signal some voltage will be applied because of this part and d2 
so q2 will run into conduction will be into conduction before its base voltage reaches 0.7 volts so this q2 it starts conducting it and it will not wait its base voltage to become or its base to emitter voltage to become 0.7 volts similarly when this has to go off and this has to go on that time also the output voltage the amplified part of the this one q2 is going to do what it is going to amplify the negative half cycle of this one and that is going to appear at its collector and now because of that voltage d1 is forward biased and this collector voltage is going to get applied to the base of q1 due to d1 we can see before actually the positive half cycle of this signal is applied to this so now slightly some voltage is applied to the base of q1 due to d1 and q1 keeps itself into conduction it will start conduct without any base voltage applied to here before any base signal is applied to q1 q1 will run into conduction because of d1 so because of the use of d1 and d2 q1 and q2 will not wait for its base voltage to become 0.7 volts that is important here so what we should say is because of this d1 and d2 because of this d1 and d2 diodes q1 and q2 will come into conduction and will not wait for their base voltage to become greater than or equal to 0.7 volts means in the absence of the input signal here at the base of q1 and here at the base of q2 that is even in the absence of the input signal at the bases of the two transistors q1 and q2 will be driven into conduction because of d1 and d2 respectively so because of that one here whatever is the waiting period this is eliminated here this e crossover distortion is because of the waiting period the each each transistor has to wait its base voltage base emitter voltage to reach 0.7 volts then only the conduction used to take place now there is no waiting period so this part is eliminated we will get the exact sine wave as the output so this is how the improvement of uh, class b is done in class ab once again i'll repeat crossover distortion of class b amplifier is overcome in class ab amplifier so this sentence has to be clearly mentioned here before explaining class ab amplifier why we are going for class ab amplifier we are going for class ab amplifier in order to eliminate the disadvantage of class b amplifier which is crossover distortion and what is the difference in the circuit diagram only the use of d1 and d2 and what is the function of d1 and d2 and how they are going to drive these q1 and q2 into conduction before any actually the input signal is applied at the basis of q1 and q2 this is class ab amplifier thank you